Hi, my name is Wayne Morgan. I'm co-founder and CEO of the Business School for Realtors, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Today's message is called Clarity Leads to Power. Out of all the consulting, training, and coaching we've done over the years, this flip chart is the most impactful. What's the definition of the word power? We define it as the ability to do. And what we found over the years is that when our students get clear, their ability to do things or the power goes up. And typically when they're confused or not clear, the ability to do things goes down. So that's why we have the saying, clarity leads to power. The opposite of clarity is confusion. Why don't people make more money and have more financial and business success in their lives? Typically, it's because they're confused. And there's a reason for this confusion, especially when you're talking about finances, money, and wealth management. I mean, look at the paper, look at the articles, look at all the advisors. You have a great reason to be confused. So when I look at this, it says coping with the Fed zero interest policy. Well, what does that mean to me? What that means to me is we've been told to save our money. Well, if you save your money, the banks are only paying one and a quarter percent for a 24-month CD. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. So here's the same article again, another ad. Give us your money. We'll pay you 1.25%. But if you want to borrow it, we'll only charge you 2.75%. So it looks to me like they're rewarding the debtors and punishing the savers. That's confusing to me. But that's okay, because I've got my pension. Well, do I have my pension? Because it looks like the Illinois ways a plan to climb out of the pension hole. So their pensions are in trouble. Rhode Island is in a pension fight. So their pensions are in trouble. And here's the Wall Street Journal, a very credible newspaper that says, the pension crisis looms despite cuts. So is my pension really safe? Or is that something I need to be concerned about? Then you have this thing called taxes. Who's getting taxed and how much? Well, this article says taxes are higher than I think. Nothing is certain except more debt and taxes. Holy moly. Payroll tax takes a new bite. So the amount of getting paid in my savings is going down. My pension could be in trouble. My taxes are going up. Like, is there any more bad news out there? Oh, here's another tax. Healthcare tax on higher earned investments. So I'm getting taxed on my investments as well. But here's an interesting article. More fiscal challenges await. Automatic spending cuts. The debt limit showdown, the national debt, a government shutdown, and what's done? What are they going to do? How's it going to affect me? This is all very confusing. The Dow practices its cliff dive. Are we going off a cliff? Ugly choices loom over the debt clash. Do we spend too much? Is there a way to pay it back? Is there a plan? Do we have one? Am I OK? Is the country OK? Well, here are seven resolutions to get my nest egg in shape. Maybe well, this will provide some clarity. Let's see. Be honest. You're behind schedule in planning and saving for retirement. Here's how to get back on track. This is what I need right here. I will track my spending. I will automate my savings. Wait a minute. I'm not getting paid for my savings. Is that really what I want to do? I will talk with my spouse. Really? Yes, we do have some different points of view on money. <laughs> I will maximize my Social Security payout. I will use the tax code to my advantage. I will buy a pension. I will get off the fence about long-term care. Oh, here's an article, Social Security Strategies. There's a strategy? I thought they just sent me the amount of money they're supposed to send me every month. States to seniors, good times may be ending. Some states are starting to have second thoughts about the tax breaks they give older people. They're going to take away my tax breaks. I'm not getting paid in my savings. My taxes are going up. My Social Security is not going to be there. Well, maybe I could just buy some dividends. Or maybe I should keep reading. Oh, here's a Social Security article. Uh, my strategy? My strategy is to get paid something. This alludes to the fact I may not get paid. This says Social Security is already means tested. Someone has suggested that they may start means testing Social Security. 
This guy says, Means says things seems to be a quick solution for the inadequate funding of future Social Security benefits. What few understand is that Social Security is already means tested. In fact, it's means tested twice. <laughs> what does that mean? Confused? Yes, I'm very confused. Can you help me? <laughs> but here's the punchline. When you translate, change the formula for future benefits from political speak to what will really happen, what you get is yet another way to have workers pay in the same amount of taxes for less than future benefits. I thought I was going to get my Social Security. I'm getting more confused. Maybe I should keep reading. And stock buys, big gains are unlikely. So I shouldn't buy stock? For many financial advisors, stocks become a hard sell. Americans are pulling out of the market. Hmm, maybe I should get out of the stock market. Oh, wait a minute. Investors flock to stocks. <laughs> Should I get in or should I get out? Can you help me? <laughs> oh, here's a good article. I'm so glad they printed this because I was starting to get confused. What's hot and what's not? Some new categories of funds and ETFs and post that are posting impressive results while others are off to a rockier start. Oh, here it is. This would be good. Ratings game. What do those stars and fund awards mean? Ratings. Ratings. Hmm. Isn't that how we got in this trouble in the first place? Didn't the three ratings organizations rate all that junk subprime AAA? Aren't they the guys that are partially to blame for the financial crisis we're in? And here they're still in business and rating more things. Hmm. Should I read that? Have they learned? Do they know? I don't know. What's hot and what's not? What's not? Managed funds, 130 slash 30 funds, volatility ETFs and ETNs. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Winners and losers. <sighs> Finally, something I can get my head around. Fourth quarter best performers, fourth quarter worst performers, five year best performers, five year worst performers, one year best performers, one year worst performers, ten year best and worst. Well, do I buy those or sell those? Which ones? How good is your company's 401k? Don't tell me that thing's in trouble. I've already got pension, the tax, and other problems. Oh, here we go. Finally, this should clear things up. I've got the investing in funds and ETS report. I can go health and biotech, S&P 500. Isn't that that rating guy? I got my Pacific region, I got international, large cap growth, large cap core, large cap value, multi cap core, multi cap growth, multi cap value, mid cap core growth, mid cap grow, uh, value, I got small cap core growth and value, I got European region, emerging markets, financial services, and sector funds. Oh. <sighs> I wonder which one of those I should buy. Huh. Okay, this will help. What ETF managers do. ETF managers don't buy and sell securities, usually. Does that mean they do or they don't? Or they usually don't or they usually do or it depends on, oh, here it is. We make it easy to follow the leaders. Aren't we told not to follow the leaders because the crowd's usually wrong? Oh, commodity ETFs narrow their focus. I could always buy commodities, commodities like platinum or corn. Newer funds offer more targeted exposure, but that means extra risk. You mean like potash? Because that was the hot commodity for a long time. And it seems like that weak demand turns the tables on potash firms. And there's a mountain of it that can't be sold. So should I buy that or do I sell what I bought? And how do I do that? Oh, here we go. So, you think you want to invest in something. Stocks, bonds, commodities. How about putting your money into something a bit more fun? Now you're talking. Let's have fun while we're going broke. <laughs> I could buy a motorcycle, watches, guitars, stamps, photography, autographs. I don't know. 
Here's some tax tips for the next two months. I was kind of thinking a little further out than that. I'm not sure. I just know it's not funny. And this isn't funny at all. The joke solution to debt clash gets serious study. What if Washington's next debt clash, widely expected to be as bitter as a fiscal cliff, could be resolved with the minting of a $1 trillion coin? A $1 trillion coin. <laughs> That's a joke. It's not funny. So, if you're concerned as confused as I am, then come to the Wealth Weekend and get some clarity so you'll have some power. Wealth Weekend, the principles of investing, money management, and wealth creation. Spend three days in the room with you, and I guarantee you one thing. This will end. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Good luck in your investing. Don't forget, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.